Just to give you a quick uh, overview of the new feature of uh, 2025 version for Flux, uh, Flux in SimLab and Flux Motor. So, all the features are explained uh, in the documentation and you will find in the link, uh, the link in the chat. Uh, so, please have a look at it uh, to have a deep explanation of the new features. So, as you may know, the Flux core is available in SimLab and we are improving version by version the usability, especially for the 3D adding new tools and features. First of all, uh, a new workflow to export the Flux legacy model is available in this version. Then Karun will present uh, what we call the EE mesh. Uh, we introduced a tool similar uh, to the added mesh available in Flux to perform mesh in one click. Finally, within uh, version 2025, SimLab allows to consider geometrical parameters to perform a parametric analysis and the results can be directly opened in HyperStudy to verify the DOE results and perform optimization with those scripts. So many features are added in SimLab uh, for PE and SCAC solver, and we will see the details later. About the Flux legacy, a new losses model will allow to compute uh, iron losses on bulk material and other relevant useful new things about the Flux legacy will be shown. So let's start with Flux in SimLab and especially with the pre-processing automation tool. So for the e-motor designers, many semi-automatic tools are already available in SimLab, such as the automatic creation of the Axel Flux machine model with parameters. Uh, the simplified rotors allows to add the hair volumes and the create hair gap for 3D models to enclose the rotor part in the air box uh, that uh, we need to use it, that we need to use for uh, uh, rotational, for the rotational movement. Um, you, you can also easily create non-meshed coils starting from the cut of the winding and 2D model can be easily extruded to create 3D models with or without skew. So now we added the tool create as MPM inner rotor 2D. It offers the possibility to create the model choosing the inner magnet part and uh, the outer slot part, as well as the diameter and the slot pulse number, very similar to the uh, flux motor workflow. So the creation of the motor now is very simple. Improving over legacy flux to get advantage over competition, uh, new dedicated mesh controls and checks are added to offer you the typical SimLab advanced and easy to use mesh environment. You can see motor mesh, electrostatic mesh uh, that, are, um, that are created especially for, uh, for these two um, solutions, uh, for these two type of physics and asymmetry mesh controls and skin effect mesh controls as well as the checks to validate the mesh depending on the flux parameters. So one of the big news, in fact, is the EEM mesh tools that uh, my colleague Karun will present you in detail at the end of my presentation. The most important one is the possibility to have geometrical parameters working within the sketcher. So now the solution is become CAD based uh, so you can perform DOE and optimization for 2D and 3D geometries without script. This includes the possibility of opening models directly in HyperStudy. Uh, a new button is available to easily evaluate quantities in case of many parameters. So this is very useful when you have a lot of uh, parameters. And the complete workflow is now available, as you can see, starting from the sketcher to the post-processing in HyperStudy. About the solution, <clears throat> uh, yeah, these functionalities that we just seen have been extended to the all available HEHAM solution and the possibility of viewing results during the solving phase was also implemented. Um, infinite region will be created in SIMLA 2025, both CAD bodies and meshes, and can be used in further post-processing after solving the simulation. We also had the, co the convergence status uh, for each solved step. And uh, we can now display the preview of the rotational periodicity and physical aspects when editing the periodicity, for example, as you can see. 
this is uh, more clear for the user. So we can now consider in magnetic assist solution 3D and magnetostatic 3D solution, um, the amping solid conductor component um, also in the SCAC solution is available with two different computation modes, um, the accurate and the fast. So with the accurate, uh, second order element is needed. And, but is also, there is also a fast um, mode to evaluate uh, the current, for example, um, in a faster way. Uh, this allows to consider, for example, thin conducting region in 3D to speed up the solving, such as the thin region with hyperbolic current along the duct. You can see an image uh, to the right of the m pins conductors and uh, of the thin region uh, that is a surface region in 3D. The possibility, now we have the possibility to create a parametric part uh, in SimLab for flux motor and uh, especially for the inner magnet type. A uh, new type of uh, parts will be available very soon. A uh, predefined catalog for the part can be found in SimLab, uh, so the user can just take one of the templates and use it, uh, or the user can also add parameters or modify the part and then export the part for a flux motor. You can see the button, so no script to are needed in, also in this case. Another way to create the parametric part for a flux motor is uh, build a part in the sketcher. So you can start from scratch, build your part in the sketcher and export it in flux motor. So all these workflows are available now starting from SimLab. So about multiphysics, uh, the main future regards the coupling between imag and thermal and in the one way process losses can be easily mapped from uh, the EMAX solution to the thermal one, staying in the, the same model, as you can see. And also the two waste coupling is available now uh, between uh, um, EMAX solution and thermal solution. And this allows us to reach a better accuracy of the temperature. Uh, you don't need to script, to use script, to change model. Uh, all the things can be done in the same uh, similar model. We can see the difference in results using the three methods uh, and considering jowl and iron losses. We have the one-way coupling and the two-way coupling uh, with jowl losses, but we can now consider the, the iron losses and uh, especially in the case of jowl losses and iron losses, two-way coupling, we can see <clears throat> the odd points. So the odd points can be found and displayed with a better accuracy. We have also the workflow to consider multi-transient solution for multiple speed. <clears throat> this allows to obtain the waterfall diagram at the end. <clears throat> so all the speed can be managed in a single IMAG and uh, emotor acoustic solution. And also the mapping can be done only once. This simplifies a lot the, the workflow. And the acoustic, in the acoustic solution, ISO standards microphones are added to compare uh, the results obtained from the simulation with the experimental data with more accuracy. So uh, the, reduced, uh, the reduced motor model solution uh, is um, available and allows to consider the full drive system in a, the full drive in a system coupling environment like PSIM. We can, in fact, uh, export the lookup table for PCIM and import it uh, in the PCIM uh, environment um, and add the drive. So, uh, in, this, in this way, we can uh, consider also, for example, the P, uh, P, uh, PWM uh, sorry, in the drive and um, compute the real uh, waveform of the current, for example, so in this case, in, in this way, we can consider the real waveform and import the waveform in, in SimLab to perform more accurate um, simulation. So a simple explanation of the workflow is available here, starting from SimLab. Um, we, have, uh, we can solve the model, create the reduced motor model, import it in PSIM, um, then um, generate the waveforms take the waveforms to import in, in SimLab and uh, can obtain more accurate results for the IMAC performance. But we can use these more accurate results also for the MVH and thermal to check uh, if there is some 
uh, modification in the results and uh, we can obtain something different. Also for the PE and SCAP solutions, uh, we have uh, some new features, some important new features, especially uh, for the SCAP solution, magnetic materials can be now considered. Uh, this is a very big improvement. And uh, yeah, ma the magnetic field can be plotted, as you can see. So a lot of uh, new contours are available. Uh, also the current density in dielectrics uh, can be displayed as contour, as well as the Laplace force in beta mode can be computed and visualized in SCAC solution. Uh, so we can investigate in case, for example, of short circuit, um, the forces that act between the conductors. Here, a very simple example, considering the three-phase bus bar system, we can plot contours and arrows. Forces and losses uh, mapping has been added also to the SCAC solution. We can see the force mapping that allows us to um, solve um, the static st stress analysis in the same model using uh, the OptiStrat solver, for example. So we can consider how uh, the part will be deformed. And also for the losses, we can uh, map the losses to the uh, SCAC solution. And uh, with AcuSolve, we can perform a CFD simulation. So with the AcuSolve solver within SimLab, or we can decide to assign the convection coefficients and so solve the thermal model in a simple way. A lot of new tutorials for 2D and SKU uh, are available uh, for Flux in SimLab as well as for the 3D and for the PE SCAC uh, solution. So you will have a lot of examples that you can uh, check in the SimLab Learning Center. Here you can find the video link and uh, the model. So you can directly download the model and open it on your laptop. About Flux 2025. So we can now export the model for SimLab. Uh, so the imp file uh, is translated in the Abacus format. So all the entities can be, most of the entities can be translated in um, uh, SimLab entities, except for the geometrical parameters. So this process um, doesn't allow to, to consider the geometrical parameter, but uh, you can translate the model that will be uh, at a certain point ready, ready to solve. So, so Prezak and Gilles Sutterton um, models have uh, already been available in flux transient magnetic application and iron losses can be directly computed with a, with a good accuracy, but simulation can be costly even if accurate. Uh, so to save computation time and memory resources starting from 2025 version, a new iron losses computation method is available for bulk materials in steady state AC application, excluding uh, to the axisymmetric domains. And the approach for this model is really similar to the Bertotti's one, but oriented for ferrite and iron powder instead of laminated steel sheets. You can see that the model for losses, a ferrite or iron powder cores is available and can be used as well as the, the Bertotti losses. So you can set the coefficients and uh, check for the results at the end. You will have the hysteresis and the classical um, losses. So these are uh, the main future for uh, Flux and Flux in SimLab. Uh, last but not least, uh, we have uh, new features also in Flux Motor. First of all, uh, the permanent magnet um, new section allows to define the winding at the commutator segments and brushes for permanent magnet DC machine. So a new environment allows to define the position and the support on the shaft and uh, can be visualized with the motor in the axial and the, in the radial view. Uh, three new tests for one field synchronous machine are available. So the analysis of the, electric, uh, of the machine, uh, no load characteristics is uh, the first step to evaluate the relevance of the machine. So no load car plus back MF is now available. Users can also verify whether the desired operating point is compatible with the machine and the model analysis of the stator mechanical structure and the radiated sound power and the magnetic forces applied on the teeth for the working point can be computed and displayed for uh, one film synchronous machine. Then 
uh, three new thermal scheme uh, export for transient thermal analysis are available. So to represent the transient thermal behavior of the machine through a customizable lamp thermal parameters model, coupled with a flow network when necessary. And it, it is now possible to create parameterized parts via, sim, via SimLab. So we already seen it. Other uh, new future and improvements are available in the, um, on the page. So don't miss uh, to visit our uh, website. Thank you.